So, back for week five of the High Roller Draft League. This time going up against Joe UX9. Let's see how this one goes. 4 1 would be a very good score to reach. What's going to be happening? There is the Poltergeist. Weren't expecting Poltergeist. There's no redirection at all. You've got to assume there's discharge on that Rotom. Damn, Blastoise goes in. It absolutely goes in. I think this is fine for now. Having Poltergeist on the team makes Mean Xiao a little bit more awkward. Still gonna go with it, I think. Still with Latios. We'll go with Zapdos. Not for us, Lass. Don't have Roost on the Zapdos, so I can't outstall there. Rotom, I think it is gonna be Latios. This was the plan anyway. This was the plan anyway, so we'll see how this goes. And High Dragon as well. Interesting. There's Poltygeist. Frostlass would have been pretty good then. My Magic Guard are unaware. I think I'm Magic Guard. Pretty sure I'm Magic Guard. Unaware would have been better against the Poltygeist. There's nothing wrong with Shell Smash Hollow Me, is there? I can't see anything that's wrong. They icy win first, then they'll um, get their. We're probably both smashing. Just a Roar but you know, like Frost Last would have been lovely. I know that for next time. What's going to be happening with the Pulsey Guys double smash? I'm faster. Yeah, just double surf smash, but I'm faster. So that's pretty good. So this is where we're both white up. <laughs> this is where I shell smash again, right? Because they're Max Guard and Icy Wind. What's wrong with shell smash again? I can't see anything that's wrong with Shell Smash again. Oh. What's going on? Are they going for Icy Wind and Shell Smash again? That'd be a pretty good play. Whoa, okay. That was brave. Okay then. And there is the Icy Wind, so. That's okay, because I can go for um, Rockfall and be okay. That was an interesting Baton Pass. So I'm just going to follow me again. They don't wall me. They will every other Blastoise except this one. Am I gonna KO through Veil? Oh, they didn't even... That's fine. They're very gone. And follow me saves me. It does because I doubled the uh, stop the double power. So good. I'm very gone. What's stopping Blastoise from just sweeping now? I'll outspeed the Rotom for sure. 
Like, what do they do? So I'm still plus two. The Fable's living with the Magic Guard. care about Ghost, to be honest. It's just kind of nice. Which one? Is, the, mm, is it worth cannonading? Because they... I'm still plus three, right? Or plus four, of course. Yeah, because they didn't... I, I, in my head, they were going to intimidate me. So, yeah, I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to move last the Poltergeist. I think that's fine. Good play, good play. But if they shell smash, then um, I'm not unaware, so I'll still hit their minus defenses. Uh, Giga Drain won't do enough. They'll, the only way they can do it is to KO the Clefable, which they're probably doing. No, they are going for shell smash, okay. But that means they're going to take a lot of damage. Like, cancels out the Aurora Veil, so this will still chump. Okay, that did not chunk. <laughs> but that's pretty good. And the cannonade's adding up, which is pretty sweet. Icy win me again, so I'm gonna go for. So I'm still plus two, right? So I'll still outspeed them. So I can just go for follow me. That's this shell smash again. So I want the max guarding and icy winding. That's fine, because then if they if they shell smash again, I'll just follow me the next turn. They're saving their max, which makes sense. They're probably going to shell smash again. But if they do, they're taking another round of cannonades. No, oh, they're baton passing. Oh, of course they are. That makes sense. This is Gyarados, that's a bit awkward. It's extra drill, okay. Oh no, the sand's up! Oh no! Oh, that's that's not ideal. Hmm. I should have set the hail. Doesn't make a difference, they would have outsped me anyway. May have been out positioned here. I should have probably gone for the Poltergeist. They've got Earthquake, which you would assume they have, then that's very bad. They've got Earthquake. That's not good. Probably should have switched out for Fable. I've been outpositioned, it seems. Did not respect Baton Pass enough. Hmm. They've got to go for the Latios. But then, no, that doesn't help, does it? Because Mean Shell can't hit the uh, Poltergeist. 
Yeah, I've definitely not played this one ideal. Should have just attacked the faulty guys. Minus one wouldn't have been so bad, because I could still get to follow me. Or fake out or whatever. So yeah. Disrespect to faulty guys for sure. Is Veil still up? Uh yeah, so they are like play. I've gotta try and I don't kick at this point. And it's just on the bolt there. Faulty Geist. Okay, if they just attack the Latios this turn, or whoever they attack this turn, I'll lose. Let's go draw sweeps. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I guess that still works, but interesting. Yeah, they went for me, Chow. Thunderbolt Paralysis, yeah, let's go. Oh, oh. No, okay. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm surprised things went wrong there. Like, obviously I need to respect Baton Pass a bit more. But that's not ideal, because that seems way in my favor for like the entire game and I just let it slip away. I really want to simple beat myself. Against Poltygeist Ninetales, that works. Because Aurora Veil Shell Smash, I'll way out Shell Smash them. Hmm. Just immediately Dynamax the Blastoise as well. Don't know if I need a Fable anymore. Planning on bringing this out, boss. But here we are. Okay, they immediately went with that. Interesting. Worth shell smashing and flaring. Might be worth flaring. I think it is. Because if they ice move with the Arctivish, then I'll get my weakness policy and KO the nine tails in one. And then if they vicious rend, then that's not going to do too much. They did Blizzard. Don't you dare. Okay, this is a good start.
still just rock slides the Arctivish. They didn't get up any Aurora Veils or anything like that, so... And there's Exit Drill. But I can just flare that, and I can rock slide. And I can't really see too much to punish. Only a Max Guard and a Blizzard Freeze, maybe. And even then, they have to get past rocks like Flinch. Interesting. Alright, fair enough, but you're still taking a rock slide. It's a good idea to bring Zapdos. They are Dynamaxing Octavish to get up the hail again. Makes sense. I still wouldn't take Blast and Rock Slide in the way. That was reasonable damage. Are we going to KO the Gyarados? Not quite. So this should KO. But that means I can liquidation the Excadrill again, which is good. Ooh, just not. Okay. That's okay. Fake out care the Gyarados, turn the rocks like single target. There's no way an Octavish can care the Blastoise. Is it worth rock sliding a high jump kicking instead? No, I don't think so. It makes sense again. Getting the Intimidate cycles. Probably should have I jump kicked them. Oh, that's just no. Oh, no, with the life orb. No, but then they're going to be able to intimidate me again. Hmm. Looks like it's going to be so close if it KOs. This should still be okay. Because I'll KO if they don't switch to Gyarados, and if they do switch to Gyarados, I'll KO both and liquidation the Excadrill. No, 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 don't you dare! Oh my god, no! Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that sucks. That's painful. That's not the way you want to go. I like that's ninety percent accurate, but to be fair, it's not over. I can still rock slide flinch the extra drill. I can still rock slide flinch the extra drill. But that's heartbreaking. If I had Protect, I would win, but I don't. Just need to finish the Excadrill, that's all. If they're Protect on Gyarados, doesn't matter because the hell should KO them. Just finish the Excadrill, come on. Okay, that evens out somewhat, I guess.
And now I can go for liquidation. Well, that was something. So, what's going to happen now? Do I go for Simple Beam? Do I go for Simple Beam? Do I go for... Frostlass and Imprison? Hmm... They're still leading nine tails. But still leading nine tails. Frostlass is still pretty reasonable. I think I am going Frostless. Wasn't planning on bringing that boss again, but here we are. <coughs> if they don't bring nine tails, I'm gonna be so sad that I brought frost frostless. Well, there's nine tails at least. Now, is it worth imprisoning first, as they overgrowth, potentially? I think that's fine, because if they do overgrowth, I will just go into Latios and electric move the Gyarados. Still got Zapdos. I can go into Zapdos actually. So I'll go for an Imprison. I'll go for a Greedy Shell Smash. If they just immediately overgrow, that's not so bad. Good. They just Power Whip. But I should live. I do live. And next turn I get to Rock Slide. And just get to go for Rock Slide and Will O Wisp. I could go for an Aurora Veil, actually. Aurora Veil's probably better. I think Aurora Veil's probably better. No, Dynamax, one of the Pokemon in the back. Willowis would have been nice, but I can still do that next turn. That's fine. Free Aurora Veil. Protect Icy Wind. What's the last? Because they may not be able to touch the Blastoise. Last turn for Blastoise. for this. <clears throat> it's 
it should switch back to Gyarados, right? The Intimidate. Expecting the water to move onto the Excadrill. So they stay in with Excadrill, that's a pretty good play. There we go, good, good. There's the Gyarados. So it's hopefully getting burned and some nice chunky damage. Good. Well, that's pretty reasonable damage. Land the Widows as well. We'll see if they're lump. Now, what's the other attacking move on the Nine Tails? Just move past. Okay. So I'm not too concerned about Moon Blast. Latios here. I can just go for Icy Winds. And... No, I'm going to willow us the... Uh, but I, do I need to? I don't think I need to. Might be worth getting the sun up this turn, so I can go for Max Flare and the sun next turn. Or I can still just Will-O-Wiz. I'm still going to Icy Wind and just Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fine. So, Willow SB, Frost Slice, they're probably going to go for the Vicious Run this turn. And it is Max Flare into the Ninetales this turn. Because the ne next turn I set I get rid of the Hail, um, they'll underspeed me, I'll be able to Thunderbolt them. Oh, oh, if that's Excadrill. That's good. That's very good. That is incredibly good. So they're not Dynamaxing, they're just going, they can't go just go for Blizzard. Frostlass lives, they have to KO the Frostlass. They don't even KO the Frostlass. Get the Willow Swap and I just I'm in a commanding position. Let's go, come on. Come on, Frostlass, just hit. And Fisher's Rend is null and void. Uh, okay. Fair enough. I just get to Max Flare the Nine Tails again. It's guaranteed get rid of the the hail. But because they'll attack first and I'll underspeed them and then be able to get it. How many turns of Veil do I have left? Still one more turn. That's the important turn. I don't think I need to Willow a spin anymore actually. Because they're just going for Hailstorm for the rest of the game. No, 
but still, just whatever. Slicey Wind doesn't really achieve much. Like, will o does more chip than Icy Wind, and the speed drop is going to happen because of this. Um, unless they Dynamax the Nine Tails, does that work? They have to Max Guard, that doesn't work, so it has to be Arctivish. It is Nine Tails, are they going for Max Guard then? Are they going for the Blizzard Freeze? Max Guard and Blizzard, okay. That actually makes sense. Oh, they didn't, okay. Okay, okay. I'm very confident I win now. Because I'll just KO the Nine Tails, reset the hail, and Thunderbolt the Arctivish. Oh, okay, I did not. Um, I don't think that matters because. Um, because. Oh, no, no, it does matter. Oh, no. Hmm, okay. That was an unfortunate survival. I still got one more turn of max with the Lassios, right? Hmm, I need it. Mean Shao here. Mean Shao was guaranteed win. I just go fake on Snow Tails. My veil wearing off isn't ideal. At least I have one more turn of max. It's the ideal way. I don't think there's a, a guaranteed way. But I think, assuming I live the blizzard, I don't like this, because I might not live the blizzard, because the veil's gone. I didn't, but I think I'm still okay. Because I KO the Nine Tails, reset the Weather and I Thunderbolt. I do win. Okay. Good they didn't max guard. That turn, there was no guaranteed way around that turn, and I just got the better end of it. They call me going for the attack into the into the Arctivish. It wouldn't have mattered. If I'd have gone for lightning into the Arctivish, that'd be still being okay. I'm quite surprised that Zapdos just dropped, but I've got no bolts, so it's fair enough. But now I can just go for Thunderbolt. I don't need to risk accuracy. I've got my weakness policy activated. This this KOs. There's no way this isn't KO. They didn't get Veil. I'm surprised the Nine Tails survived earlier, but. That was a good game. That was an interesting game. And come out on top, 4-1. Yeah, like, that was, that was a set. That was an interesting set. Didn't respect Poltygeist in the slightest in game one. Like, why didn't I attack that Poltygeist? I, I let it shell smash and baton pass twice. What was I thinking? Uh, game two, missed the rock slide, but then flinched. Equals out, maybe, kind of. And then, yeah, game three, Game three, that it came down to that call. If the Nine Tails Max guards there, then they just get to um, Blizzard again because they've um, not got Max Flare. They didn't get Max Flares, and they'll keep the hail. So um, it would have come down to just that prediction. Because if I go for Max Flare or Thunderbolt or whatever into the uh, Arctivish, then I would I would win if they Max guard. So they, it was just a 50-50 in that end game. And fortunately, I got the better end of it. So that's going to put me four one. That's Pretty good position for the for going into top cut. I think, I think some four fours get are guaranteed or not guaranteed. There is, I will, I will reword that sentence. I think that some four fours will still top cut. So I'm looking pretty good for the top cut right now.